I'm Adam Weaver. I'm the oldest of Amy's younger brothers. The emotional one. <laughs> and I'm Eric Weaver, the younger brother. <laughs> We'd like to start by thanking Rebecca and David Weaver, the parents of the bride, and Kim and David Hart, the parents of the groom, for helping put this day together. Amen. <laughs> Amy, you asked for us to give a speech, so fuck away. Because <laughs> I got childhood. <laughs> See, Amy was three years older than me, which meant that as she was moving on to more mature things, Eric and I were lagging behind. Unfortunately for her, she developed an interest in photography, and by extension, so did we. But while well, Amy's interest was in taking pictures of things, ours was replacing her framed school photo with notorious pictures from her youth. Like a casual day in the kiddie pool, or an extremely tasteful Hawaiian t-shirt. Typically right before company came over. But don't worry, we eventually grew out of an embarrassing sister phase. Mostly. And it was around the time that Amy started to show for me around for practice or for work. She was always ready to drop me off, wait, or spin into a snowbank. Is that still off limits? It was a variety of options that really spiced up those tricks. And now, she's a director of marketing. And a leadership role comes as no big surprise, considering she was the only one who actually got Eric and I to agree and work together on anything. Whether it was combining our money for Christmas presents for our parents, or attempting to focus our efforts on converting the pig pen into a clubhouse. <laughs> the keywords, attempting. <laughs> so it stood to reason that she would step up and become class president, as someone who had practice and interest in guiding people toward a common goal. Because stepping up is something that Amy's always done. Whether it was putting together a slideshow for Eric's wedding, or delivering the eulogy at her grandmother's funeral on behalf of us and our cousins. After growing up under the same roof as us, she would have to be strong, driven, and thick-skinned. And we know that Jake appreciates this just as much as we have throughout the years. Being the youngest, it may have taken me the longest to begin acting like a human being. <laughs> but once I finally began to mature, Amy and I grew closer. Starting in my early teens, Amy would occasionally invite me to hang out with her and her friends. And for the first time, I get to know her as more than just my big sister. I began to understand her strong sense of independence, which often led her down the road less traveled. After high school, she bounced around from Ithaca, New York, to Redding, California, Las Vegas, Plymouth, New Hampshire, Dover, New Hampshire, brief days back home, and finally to Philadelphia. Eight years after she first left home, she may not have earned a medical degree, but she did have a perfect GPA and many adventures under her belt. When Amy moved to Philadelphia, I had just started my second year of college. Whether it was for the opportunity or because she missed her little brother so, so much, she was now a mere 90 minute drive away. Being so close, I frequently visited Amy, and we had the opportunity to hang out on an adult level during a transitory period in both of our lives. I have many fond memories of visiting Amy at her Cater Street dump. <laughs> and this really helped us to understand and appreciate each other on an adult level, as siblings, friends, and adults. <laughs> <laughs> Times like these, and many more, were the main reason why Rebecca and I moved to Philadelphia, where I met Jake almost immediately. At that time, Amy and Jake were merely friends, but I immediately noticed there was something different about Jake. Maybe it was the notebook that he always kept in his breast pocket, or perhaps his odd obsession with eating every meal with chopsticks. <laughs> Or maybe even his long feathered locks, which years later, with the, the help of a new hairdresser, he was bluntly told, you've been getting your hair cut like a girl. <laughs> Despite all of this, Jake and I bonded over sports, the television show Lost, and hoppy beers. I respected Jake's willingness to be himself in every situation, and would later see how this unusual confidence had a positive effect on my big sister. It wasn't until my birthday, a few months later, 
that Amy and Jake began dating. On that particular evening, Rick and I went out for drinks with Amy, Jake, and others, and enjoyed a night of laughter and city specials. In typical clueless younger brother fashion, I had no 